Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Port Orleans Riverside for a little dinner and a show. I have reservations for boat rides and I'm gonna take part in their all you care to enjoy chef's platter and then catch Yeehaw Bob at the River Roost. It's gonna be a fun night. Let's go do this. Everybody's at the red hot oh, rockin' at the red hot oh, the man rockin' at the red hot oh, 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 I feel like boat rides actually gets a little overlooked at Walt Disney World when it comes to, you know, a restaurant. Mainly because I overlooked it myself. This is my first time dining here. And what really caught my attention, like I said before, was the all you care to enjoy chef's platter. And it looks like it has a lot that comes with it. A lot of the other platters on property, like Whispering Canyon or the platter at Ohana, they're really delicious and I've loved them in the past. So I figured why not give this one a shot? And then after we eat, I'll hop over to the River Roost and watch a little Yeehaw Bob. Sounds pretty fun, doesn't it? There's the man right there. And we are here. Take a look at that boat. That is a big boat. They have a little backstory about the boat itself. And you see right here, it mentions that they actually built this boat for the restaurant at Disney's Dixie Landings. How cool is that? The dining room actually has two different sides. Right here, when we first walk in, is directly shared with the river room. So, if you're dining in this section, it will get very, very loud, especially when Yeehaw Bob comes on stage. But they do have a dining room on the other side that's probably a little bit more quieter. And it actually looks like we're going to be sitting in the other dining room. So that makes it fun. Oh yeah, much quieter over here. And they have a fireplace. Taking a look at the menu, we have a lot of cool appetizers. Mardi Gras Fritas, fried green tomatoes, and Anduli sausage cheese dip. Huh. But I'm not going to get an appetizer because I am going for that big bad daddy right there. The all you care to enjoy chef's platter. Ribs, Nashville hot chicken, smoked sausage, barbecue beef brisket, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, street corn, and green beans for $33. Mm. But I do need to make a twist on it because I don't like cheese. I know, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna get actually something instead of the mac and cheese, but I don't know yet. I'm gonna see what sides they have to offer. You can get red beans and rice or some fried okra. I don't think I've ever had okra before, so I think I'm gonna substitute the mac and cheese for okra. See how that comes out. I do like the fancy drinking jars that they have here for the water. Actually, it's called a drinking jar. It says it right on there. <laughs> not kidding, look, drinking jar. Uh, not for home canning. I am dining by myself, so it kind of doesn't make sense to actually get that big platter, but I really want a variety of different flavors, so that's why I went with it. But I do see that they have an actual prime rib here, and I really like prime rib. That's also, well, that's $35. Maybe I'll have to make a trip back out for the prime rib. And what's this? Cornbread? Oh, ho, ho. look at that. I don't even know they give you this. Pretty fancy. Oh, yeah. Let's just see. Oh, ho, ho. 
That's pretty nifty cornbread. A little dry. I can hear it. I can feel it. <clears throat> but still delicious. I'm not going to fill up on that. I got the chef's platter coming. Oop. And holy moly, the chef platter is here. Wow. This is humongous. What? I can't even believe it. Oh, look at and that's the fried okra I've never had before. I'm excited. It looks really delicious. We got sausage and then we've got the brisket and the chicken and the ribs and then street corn, mashed potatoes and green beans. I don't even know where to start. I suppose I will try the fried okra first since I've never had it before. There goes nothing. I like it. Wow. I really like the breading probably the most. Not so much the okra. I mean, the okra was good, but the breading kind of has like a little Cajun twist to it. Wow. I was a little shocked by that. Very shocked. I might as well just dive right into the meats and try some of this chicken and then work my way with the ribs, brisket, and sausage. I'm excited. So, I gotta say, I dove right into the chicken and it does have a little kick to it. Well, it is Louisiana hot chicken, but I didn't expect it to be fried. I thought it would maybe be a grilled chicken. Regardless, it's phenomenal. I like it. I like it a lot. And uh, I'm definitely going to get a little bit more of that. Now that the chicken's all gone, I guess I'm going to have to hop on over to the sausage. Yeah. Oh. Some of the best sausage I've ever had right there. Oh yeah, I like it. And these ribs actually are fall right off the bone ribs. Like literally I just stuck my fork in there and bada boom. That's how I like the ribs. No, like legit, look at that, hold on. What? That's not the rib itself, that's the rib meat. Look at that. <laughs> I did dabble with the green beans and the mashed potatoes, but there's not really anything to ride home about with those. I kind of just feel like they're mashed potatoes and green beans. I mean, eh. But this street corn definitely seems a little interesting. So the street corn actually has breadcrumbs, sausage, and then a little aioli on it. That is something fancy, huh? But hopefully I saved the best for last, and that is the barbecue brisket. I love brisket. I don't know if you guys know that about me, but this looks pretty scrumptious. If this brisket is as good as Trail Zen's brisket, I might get the meat sweats. Just saying. All right. Here comes the test. Bravo. That is so delicious. Look how thin it is, though. That's what I like. It's so thin and flimsy. Oh, man. Sadly, though, I do have to still stick to Trill's End is my favorite brisket. I mean, this comes in a close second though. A very close, very, very close second. Now, I did go ahead and get some more food, mainly because I wanted to experience it one more time, but I didn't want all of the other stuff. I just wanted basically the meats, and that's something you can do. So when you order this chef's uh, skillet, you can actually be like, oh, bring me out more uh, potatoes, or bring me out just the chicken, 
and you can like pick and choose what you want and I like that a lot for me I just said give me the meat and that is exactly what they did a big old plate of meat <laughs> honestly I tried like one of everything again and I can't do it <laughs> that is so much food and if I eat everything then I'm definitely not gonna be able to order dessert Ha ha ha! We've got Mississippi Mud Cream Brulee, Pecan Pie Cheesecake, Lemon Chest Bar, and a traditional bread pudding. Not sure which one I'm gonna go for. So, I decided on getting the Mississippi Mud Cream Brulee, but I don't know what time Yeehaw Bob starts playing, and it's actually getting around 9.30. I'm afraid he might be ending his show. So while I ordered that, I'm gonna sneak over and see if I can catch him in some action. Good to know they actually shut the doors when actually Yeehaw Bob comes on to keep it a little bit quieter in here. That's really interesting. <laughs> get back because the creme brulee is probably waiting at the table but I had to come over and I had to see Yeehaw Bob so hopefully maybe he's gonna run a little bit longer I'll eat my dessert real quick and then run back over there that's the plan and like I thought it was here waiting for me my uh, waitress Nicole is actually fantastic but look how delicious this creme brulee looks I'm excited to try it Is just so delicious Wow I mean I I've had creme brulee before uh, but this is like totally out of this world oh overall I really gotta say I would put this skillet up there with the best I mean it was pretty darn good especially if you like a little kick to your food. I found out that the actual Louisiana hot chicken is a little bit of sriracha honey, which is like about a medium spice level, but I enjoyed it a lot. I enjoyed everything from the brisket to the ribs, to the chicken, to the sausage, to the creme brulee, mashed potatoes, and the green beans were eh, and the sweet street corn was meh. But overall, I'm telling you, it's definitely worth the $33, especially if you're here with the big family. Because you look at some of these all-you-can-eat buffets, and stuff like that can run you almost $60. It's $30 for all you care to enjoy. So, I would give it a shot. I stand corrected. It was only $29 with that sweet annual pass discount. Wow, $29. Bucks. Well spent. What an amazing man. I love his show. If you guys have not been to the River Roost before or have not seen Yeehaw Bob, you gotta make it out here. It is something, it's just a Disney must. And I ran into some friends. Cheers! Cheers. Perfect. 
not only do they have a great show here, but they have some pretty comfy couches, if I do say so myself. But with that, I think I am done here tonight. I had a delicious meal at Bolt Wright's, and I got to see Yeeha Bob a little bit. Wish I could see him a little bit longer, but he was just wrapping up, and I was like, oh, I'm glad I got to see what I did, because I don't make it out here very often, and it's such a great show. So, love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.